Hello, my YouTube family. This is Dr. Lee, and I'm back again with another one of my videos. So today we will be talking about uh, the chapter 11 from the Draw of Signing. Chapter 11, okay? So again, let me um, make a disclaimer. This is not an ASL class. This is a group of people who are studying vocabulary words from the book, The Joy of Signing. So if you want to learn ASL, you can attend um, a class at a local university or community college. Um, there are some excellent deaf people that have YouTube channels um, where they offer classes in American uh, Sign Language, and you can uh, explore those options. One good one that I do know of is Dr. Vickers. He's out of Sacramento, California, and he is excellent. Excellent. Okay, so with that, let me start with chapter 11. And chapter 11 is verbs and related words. So this is part two. Hopefully you've already seen chapter 10, which was part one. So we're going to be ending this chapter with the rest of the vocabulary words for verbs and related words. All right, so let's get going into it. If you do find this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would please subscribe and hit the like button. That helps me to be able to keep the keep making the videos on YouTube. All right, and tell your friends if you know someone else that's trying to learn some vocabulary words. Okay, so we are on page 139 in the new uh, book. I do know that there's an old book out, this brown, I think, but this is the newer version. It's called The Joy of Signing, and this one is blue. But the words may be uh, are very similar if you do have the older book. Okay, so to volunteer. When I volunteer, I just kind of pinch my shirt, and I normally use my thumb and index finger, and it's like, pick me, pick me, I volunteer, volunteer, okay? To depend, I'm going to take my two index fingers and put them on top of each other and just go, go down, depend, depend. So just kind of take your dominant hand, put it on top of the non-dominant index finger, and just go down. Depend. Okay, depend. Um, if I want to say I'm putting emphasis on this, I'm, I uh, am impressed, but I have emphasis, I'm going to hold out my hand, and I can put an A here and an emphasis. 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 But I've seen more people take... Um, uh, the thumb and put it right here in the middle of the, of the uh, palm and they just kind of turn this down for emphasis. Emphasis. I want to impress something. It's like you're pushing down into the palm of your hand so you want emphasis on it. I see this more than I just see with the A going down. I see this with the thumb pointing in. So you can decide which, which way you, you want to go, okay? or emphasis or impress, to include or involve. So I'm going to make um, kind of like a C hand shape, and if I want to involve somebody, I'm going to put them in, in the mix. So include them, involve them. I'm going to just bring them in, okay? Include, involve. When I want to analyze something, I again, I use a lot with this middle finger and index finger. So I'm going to bring them together, and it's kind of like you're scratching on something, but I want to analyze it. I want to break it apart. I want to see what's in it. So I want to analyze it. And I, I just kind of look down when I'm signing, analyze like I'm really searching through it. Okay, analyze. When I, I blame somebody... I'm, I have a fist here, and I'm going to make an A hand shape and put it on top, and I just blame, 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 okay? Or I'm going to accuse somebody. A, it just come off, okay? All right. Innocent. I do like innocent because we want to be innocent people. But it's kind of like you're coming on the mustache. I'm not quite sure why, but you have the, the U here with the fingers pointing toward the lips, and then you're just going to bring them down. Okay, I'm innocent. You could maybe cover up your mouth, but there's nothing to hide. So you kind of like belly up. 
innocent, innocent, innocent. Okay? I'm innocent. Gotta move that little finger in, it keeps sticking itself out. Innocent, innocent. Okay? If I want to encourage somebody, I just, I'm going to encourage, it's like I'm, I'm pushing you out. I encourage you, encourage, encourage you, okay? If I want to push back, mm, 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 no, I don't want that, no, no. So your hands is pushing out because you don't want it to come towards you. So you're pushing, mm, mm, no, okay, push. If I want to force or compel, I'm going to make the C hand shape and from the chin, I'm just coming down. Force, compel, force, compel. Um, I sign with my right hand, but I'll try to do it with the left. C, force, compel, force, compel. It seems weird trying to sign with this hand because this is my dominant hand, but to force, compel. Okay? If I want to be supportive of something, two S hand shape, and I'm going to support it support support they can lean on me support it so i'm going to bring this hand up to support it or to reinforce something i'm going to support it okay um the uh establish is the next word establish make a fist and then i'm going to kind of circle around and land on top of the fist circle around and land on top of the fist I want to establish. I want to set up some ground rules. I want to establish what we're going to be doing here today. I'm like I'm going to make a foundation. I'm establishing something. Fist, circle, and land on it. Okay, that's to establish something. Um, the next word on here at the bottom of page 141 is to cancel out. Just make an X. Have your pen here and just make an X in your hand. I cancel that out. Mm -mm. Nope. X. A big X. But I'm going to make an X. Okay? I'm going to flip over to the next page. I urge you, I'm folding my book here because my it's folding back. If I want to urge you, so I'm going to make an A and I urge. I urge you. I urge urge you pull the hands back back towards you i urge you okay i urge you i'm urging you i urge you okay if i want to avoid something um then i have my two a handshake but just one is going to come back because this right here i don't want to be by it i want to avoid it avoid it so i'm going to come back avoid avoid Okay, um, to put, so I have something here and I want to put it here. Open hand, close hand. I have something here and I want to put it here. Grab it and close your hand. Put, put, open to close. I'm going to take what's here, take this, and put it here, okay? Move or put, okay? Now movement, so just kind of move move around. Movement, okay? Just just move wherever, have where the movement's gonna go, just move with it, okay? So just kind of move your hands back and forth or pointing up and down, whatever is moving, all right? <laughs> If I want to prevent something, I have my hand here and I want to prevent it. So I'm going to just block it. I'm going to block it. I'm preventing it. I'm blocking it. Preventing. I'm blocking it. Okay. So on page 143, to bother, to interfere, in between the thumb and the index finger, I put my hand here to bother okay to interfere so I'm, I'm like I'm right here between this I'm, I'm interfering with my hand I bother it I'm interfering 
Okay, the hand doesn't have to move, it just needs to sit there. Um, if I forbid you from doing something, so G is normally the sign for guilty. So you can have your hand here, guilty, don't, don't do it. I, I forbid you to do it. But most of the time I see an L for like whether or not it is, it's, it's not legal, it's illegal. So I mostly see an L for this one for forbid. I think probably every blue moon I may see a G. Not not often. Most of the time I see the L. I know the L is not in your book, but I'm just telling you what I've seen and what I use when I'm signing. I use the L for like illegal, forbidden, as opposed to the G. All right, but you can decide which way you want to, uh, which sign you want to use, okay? Um, to reject something. Palm out, reject it. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't want it. Reject it. I'm sliding it off my plate. Don't want it. And I I use my head motion to say it's something negative. Mm -mm. Don't want it. As opposed to just saying. But if I put this with it, you really know it's something. Mm -mm. Don't, mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. You know that I am doing what? Rejecting it. Okay, so remember, I'm stressing about facial expressions and, and head movements. It, it really helps with uh, deaf people when they're trying to understand what it is that uh, is being said or signed to them or to us. I'm including myself as a part of that culture because I am. Um, fail or failure. When I fail, I'm here and I come off. Fail. So it's kind of like um, a V, or well, this is you, but the legs are kind of open, so it's V. You're on top of the hand, and you fall off. You fall off. Failure. Slide the V across, and then off. Failure. The V across, and then fa fall off. Failure. Okay? Um, to line up. When I line up, my hands are going to be... Um, in front of each other so it's just lining line up so it's like I'm making a, a line okay we're lining up okay all right let's go to the next page Okay, so we're on 144, 145. When I surrender, hands up, I, I surrender. Okay, my hands are down, hands up, I surrender. Okay, when I conquer, make a fist and you just go over. Conquer, conquer. I conquer or I defeat. I am an overcomer. Okay. Overcomer, defeat, conqueror, okay? I've seen some people where they just put here, make a fist here, and then two fingers out. I don't see it that often, but every blue moon, I'll, I'll see that. Most of the time, I'll see this for conquer, conquer, okay? Um, servant or servant. Um, it's just like your hands is out, you're passing trays. If you work in a restaurant or um, you had a banquet and people are passing trays, you are serving. So just your hands out. This is serving. Hands out. Okay. Going back and forth. Hands out. I'm serving you. I'm serving him. I'm serving all of us here. I'm servant. I'm serving. Okay. If I want you to bring something to me, I'll hold my hands out and say, bring it to me. If I want to carry something to you, my hands are here, and I carry it to you. You bring it to me, and then I carry it to you, or I carry it to her. She brings it to me. We carry it somewhere else. Okay? To miss miss okay so i'm going from a c 
to a S. I miss that. Miss. 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 From a C to a S. Okay? C to a S. Miss it. Okay? Um, you can also do miss like you fail to meet something. Um, just with your middle finger, come down. Okay? I, I, you know what? I didn't meet that meeting. I failed. I failed to go to the meeting. I missed it. I missed it. Okay? Um, disappointed. Disappointed. Okay? Disappointed. To hide something. I'm going to have my A hand shape. And I started my chin. And I want to come under. I'm hiding it. Hiding. Because we're hiding under the palm of my hand. So hide. A. And come under the palm of the hand. Hide. Hide. All right. When I want to rub something. Just like I get some um, lotion in my hand. And I want to rub it. So I'm just going to rub it. Okay. I'll rub. Okay. Fingers of one hand and just rub across the palm of the opposite hand. Rub. All right. To save or to rescue or to be safe. So I'm starting with the S hand shape. My hands are across my chest and I just come out. To save, to rescue, save, start with an S, to rescue, okay? If I want to be free, same movement, I, I have my F hand shape, and I'm going to bring them out. F across my chest, and I bring it out. Free. Free. Deliver. Same thing. D across my chest and I bring it out. D, D across my chest and I bring it out. Deliver. Deliver. What about liberty? L. Liberty starts with an L. L across my chest and I do what? Bring it out. L across my chest and I bring it out. Independent. Independent starts with the what? I. I across my chest and I bring it out. I across my chest and I bring it out. So those are some easy ones. Save, free, deliver, liberty, and independent. Because I pretty much look at the first letter that the word starts with. Bring it across my chest and bring it out. Save, free starts with an F. Free, deliver starts with a D. Deliver. Liberty starts with an L, and independence starts with the what? I. Okay? If you're going to bound something up, S hand shape again, and when you bound them, you have the hands tied. So this is bound. My hands are tied. I am bound. Like if uh, somebody wanted to tie my wrists together so I couldn't get out, couldn't escape, they would bind my hands. So bind, bind, okay, S handshake and the wrists go together, bind. If I want to share, I'm spreading it between two people, between me and you or three people, I'm sharing. This is share, okay. If I want to deny something, say, mm-mm, I'm giving you a thumbs down, no. But instead, I give you two thumbs down. I am denying that. Two thumbs down. I deny that. Two thumbs down. Deny. Okay. Um, what about um, another one to deny? In other words, not being truthful. You, we do this for not. I take the A and come under my chin and say not. Mm -mm, not. I, I did not lie. I'm denying that I lied. Or the two thumbs down for deny. I mostly see this one under the chin for not, N-O-T, not, not, 
Mm -mm. Not. Okay, to tempt. I'm going to hit the elbow with my uh, index finger to tempt. To tempt. Okay. Go to the next page. To steal. I'm going to bend the index finger, middle finger, and just kind of come up the, um, the bottom part of the arm form. Just go up. Steal. 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 If I want to catch, catch something, I'm going to go after it and then catch it. Go after it and then catch it. And when I catch it, I'm in, ending with an S. So I'm going to go after it and end with an S. Okay? Go after it and end with an S. This is to catch. To catch. Okay? I'm, they are captured. All right. They are captured. Okay? To slay, to kill, to murder. My index finger... And I normally see it with the palm up and they'll just go down like this here for just slaying. Slaying or slay. But you want to point down as if this person is dead. They're they're down. Okay. They're they're dead with the one index finger. If I want to tease somebody or to persecute somebody, I'm gonna kinda hold a little um uh like an A. But I kind of have mine open just a tad right like that. And I just kind of bring it out a, a little bit for, for tease. Tease. A and my dominant hand, I just kind of bring it out a little bit for tease. Like I'm kind of kicking them, uh, tapping them a lot, just teasing them. Okay? Tease. To destroy, to damage. So hands go across. Make an um, S and come back. Cross for destroy. Now, I've also seen people do an A. So, open hand, bring them back. Open hand, bring them back. And I've seen them do it with an S for destroy. Now, the book is saying to do destroy, you start with the uh, open open hands together and come down with an A, like destroying. I guess that would be like hammering something down or whatever. But I mostly see this for destroy. It's kind of like, mm -mm. That's what I mostly see for destroy. Okay. Uh, warn. I'm warning you. I'm tapping you on the shoulder. Don't do that. I'm warning you, warn, okay? When I'm going to punish somebody, I'm going to take my index finger and I'm just, um, and I have um, a A shape in my non-dominant hand and I'm just going to go down from my fingers down to my elbow. So I'm punishing you. That's your penalty. I'm punishing you, okay? Punish. Uh, I'm going to have to do it this way. Punish. Punish. Okay. If I want to spank you, now it's going to be with an open hand, so I still have my A, but I'm going to act like I'm spanking you with an open hand. Spank. Spank. Now, if I want to hit you or beat you, I have to say this finger is going to be like this is a person. So if I'm going to hit you, then I'm only going to hit you one time. Okay. One time. Hit. But if I'm going to beat you, I'm going to hit you more than one time. Maybe one, two, three, four times. Because I am doing what? Beating you. But I just hit you. Then I only hit you one time. Hit. Beat. Beat. Okay? And hopefully that, that makes sense. All right. We got three more pages here to go. So, if I need to defend you protect you to guard you i'm going to make the s hand shape and then i'm going to come out to defend to guard okay s hand shape defend to guard all right if i need shelter 
S hand shape and I'm going to come around with my dominant hand and go around this one because now I am sheltering this person all the way around. Just kind of just make a little circle. Shelter. Shelter. Shield. I'm protecting this. Okay. All the way around. I'm protecting this. Okay. If I want to say I want to reflect on something. I'm going to hold my uh, left hand out, and then I can make an R in the, um, the, the palm of the hand, and I can reflect out, reflect. So R, come out and just kind of go over to the side, reflect, reflect. Now, I've also seen it where people have just put a hand here and deviate over, reflect, or with an R, reflect, 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 okay? If I'm going to lock something, I make the S and I'll say, oh, like a, you need to turn a, a key or lock S and just kind of symbolize like you're turning the key, okay? Lock, 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 okay? If something is stuck, it normally is stuck somewhere in our throat, okay? And hopefully it did not get into our lungs, into our respiratory system. But you're going to make a V-shape and you're going to put it right here toward your neck area at the bottom. And you want to say stuck, stuck, okay? Make a V, stuck, stuck, okay? Okay. Now to turn. So there are a lot of different ways I can use turn. I can say we need to turn around, go around here. I can say this person turned around and went the opposite direction. So we were together, but this person turned turned and went the opposite direction. That's, that's another way to do turn. Um, I can say we're playing cards. It's so your turn to play, to play, then your turn, then your turn. That's different because now I'm going to make an L and say your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. Um, so there are different ways that we can use turn. What you're going to have to pay attention to with using turn is what is the context of that word in the sentence. Is the person saying we need everyone to turn around? Or is the speaker saying it is my turn to shuffle the cords and deal them out. That's a that's a different turn than everybody stand up and turn around. Um, we, you're gonna have to pay attention to the sentence. Okay, hopefully that makes sense as to which turn you're gonna use. All right. If I want to cover something or something, I'm talking about the cover. The covers is something that's on top. So this is cover. Whatever is on top, this is cover, okay? Cause, 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 okay? Cause, cover, cause, cause. All right, so let's get to the last page. Just a few more words here. So with this, um, to bet. When I want to bet, I'm going to start with palm, palm up, palm down. I call it palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. This is bet. Okay, that's, that's bet. All right. Um, to mesh or to fit something to, to, together, to mesh it together. Uh, so that it all falls in one place. You you have the your your fingers of one hand and fingers of the other hand, and you want to kind of interlace them so that they fall together. Okay, to mesh, to fit together. But I am bringing them together like this. Okay, this is to mesh or fit together. Okay, to mesh. Okay, this is different from to match or to. Fit. Because when I match or fit, I bring them together like this, which is sudden, sudden. 
if I want to fit it, I'm going to kind of roll my fingers together to get them together because I need to fit it. I need to mesh it. If I want to match it, match, match. If I want to fit it, then I have to kind of roll the fingers together. All right. So that was the end of the verbs and related words for chapter 11. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, once again, please, please subscribe and hit the like button. Okay, that'll help me to make more videos. And I think that's it. I'll try to get 12 out to you probably within the week. I'll try to get chapter 12 out. Okay, well, have a great day and just be kind to everyone that you meet. All right. Y'all have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.